I'm Carl Anthony, Managing Editor of AutoVision News, and welcome to AutoSense Insights. We are speaking today with Dr. June Pei, who is the co-founder and CEO of Septon Technologies. And June, thank you for being with us here on AutoSense Insights. Thank you for having me, Carl. So June, I want to start at the beginning here. Just tell us a little bit about Septon Technologies. Give us an overview of the company. Septon Technologies is a Silicon Valley startup company. We work on LiDARs. Uh, specifically, we work on LiDARs for consumer vehicles. Uh, that is uh, the ADAS uh, level two, level two plus, uh, up to level three type of applications. We have invented a MMT technology. The MMT LiDAR is actually uh, the most suitable LiDAR for uh, level two plus type of deployment. And with that, we have won the largest design win in that sector. So in just a couple of years from now, you'll actually see consumer vehicles that you get to buy from a dealership uh, with a Septon LiDAR inside. Of course. And so this is a natural transition into the, the very first question that I have for you, June, is that, you know, Septon has been focused on the ADAS market and the LiDAR market since 2016. Why have you put your focus there the last five or six years? Yeah. You know, if you turn your clock back into five years ago, 2016, there was this huge bandwagon of uh, autonomous vehicles is right around the corner, 2018, 2019, it will be everywhere on the street. Well, perhaps I've been in engineering for so many years, perhaps it's because of uh, my age, I'm over 50 now, uh, that uh, I have a little bit more mature thinking, uh, looking at the time, I didn't think uh, that uh, autonomous vehicles, level four, level five vehicles would be here anytime soon. Well, of course, sure. in hindsight, uh, that's a natural uh, conclusion now. Uh, but uh, when we started the, uh, uh, the LiDAR company, Septon, uh, our focus is actually how to make a LiDAR device uh, that actually will actually promote safety. You know, first of all, is the safety for today's vehicle. And then, you know, with the side benefit of uh, additional autonomy. Uh, so that's where our focus is. We didn't really jump into the bandwagon. We just want to actually make a, a better and a safer car. So uh, that makes sense, June. And, and again, this is just a, a really good transition into my next question here. So talking about safer vehicles, and if you look at the SAE levels uh, of autonomy, what is LiDAR's role in ADAS and in particularly level two and, and level two plus systems? What is LiDAR's role there? Well, uh, people's uh, desire for additional level of safety is never ending. It's unlike, uh, you know, uh, you want to get your hands off the wheel, you get your eyes off the wheel. You know, the additional safety is, uh, is uh, uh, everlasting uh, desire for every consumer. Once you have 90% safety, you want 99. Once you have 99, you want 99.9 .9, and so on and so forth. So that drive is uh, never ending regardless of the SAE level. And uh, LiDAR's role is actually providing this additional level of safety. It actually can measure physical distance between obstacles, as well as, uh, you know, the, uh, between lane markings and road signs, as well as the, uh, the free road boundaries. All of these uh, factors can be measured uh, very accurately with LiDAR without any uh, limitation of light conditions. Uh, for example, your camera needs uh, you know, good lighting for it to become uh, uh, reliable. And uh, for radars, uh, yeah, it doesn't have the, uh, uh, the high angular resolution needed to distinguish uh, uh, whether a obstacle is in your lane or on the, on the side of the road. These are the things, uh, just like your eyes, your nose and your ears. I'm actually a true believer, the suite of these sensors LiDAR, camera, yes. and radar will actually coexist in the future of cars. There's, you know, if you ask yourself, can your ears replace your eyes uh, as a sensor for yourself? The answer is no. Uh, to some extent, yes, but it's not 100%. And same thing uh, for vehicles. Uh, when you talk about, uh, you know, 99 point additional nines of a safety level, uh, absolutely, you need additional sensors, additional sensors of different modality uh, to get you an extra level of safety. Uh, that's where we see uh, our role or LIDAR's role is 
not only in SAE level two, two plus, uh, but in all levels, it actually starts from there. Of course, the side benefit of autonomy just comes uh, along uh, and uh, we can certainly talk about those in, in more detail. Of course. And so June, one of the things I think is always interesting to cover when we have an AutoSense conference is I, I always like to talk about customers that you have as a company. So tell us a little bit about Septon's customers and tell us a little bit about the engagements that you have with uh, particularly OEMs and tier one suppliers. Yeah. So in terms of engagement, uh, you know, that uh, word is used uh, quite loosely in the industry. You know, you just have one email exchange that uh, you can call that an engagement. Uh, and yes. uh, with that uh, is, uh, you know, we're certainly very well engaged in the automobile industry, especially, you know, we have actual engagement programs uh, with uh, uh, all of the top 10 OEMs by volume in the world. Uh, but most notably, for us, engagement uh, really doesn't, um, you know, uh, get you very far uh, in, in many places. Actually, we have the actual customers. It's the paying customers that will actually uh, uh, tell you about uh, your commercial success. And for us, uh, uh, Septon Technologies, as I mentioned on top of this uh, conversation, have won the largest design win in the ADAS industry. And uh, it is uh, a, uh, one of the top uh, five OEMs in the world, uh, Detroit-based OEM. Uh, and our LiDAR is actually so sourced uh, for uh, their multiple platforms and multiple vehicles uh, models uh, in the coming years. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, as again, uh, it will be in consumer cars, not uh, uh, some demonstration fleet. Uh, it will actually roll out of the production line in 2023. So uh, it is a program that we actually uh, had the design win in December 20, 2019, over one and a half years ago. So, you know, throughout this process, we have delivered A samples, B samples, uh, C samples now and well into uh, the volume production path. Uh, it's a very classical uh, design win uh, with, together with our tier one partner, Koito Manufacturing of Japan, uh, who is already a you know, long-term supplier to this OEM. And together uh, we'll, we, we will be bringing uh, LiDAR to, this, uh, to the real world. So June, I, I think one of the things now that we should definitely talk about is micro motion technology. And I think that's something our, our viewers will be keen to know about. So let's start at the beginning there. What, what is micro motion technology and how does it make you different from other LiDAR companies on the market? Well, the, to start uh, with, uh, our company is different from many other technology companies in Silicon Valley uh, that we did not start with the invention of micro motion technology looking for an application. In fact, we had our focus of market, ADAS market, established well before we had any invention. And with that market, we came up with a set of requirements. Okay, now we want to make LiDAR for consumer vehicles. What are the requirements? It actually uh, became rather clear really quickly that we need the, what we call three pillars, performance, cost, and reliability. So we need to hit the balance between these three pillars. If you only have the performance, you can do space station docking, cost a couple million dollars, the, the sensor will never see it stay in cars. Uh, so you know, performance, cost, reliability needs to be balanced out. That's when we actually embarked on the journey to seek for the technology that actually will strike this balance. And MMT, micro motion technology came up uh, as that balance and specifically, Micromotion technology uses a very, very old technique of loudspeaker. You know, loudspeaker is well over a century old uh, and has a voice coil that if you run current over it, uh, it will actually move slightly over a magnet. That's basically the, the, uh, uh, the principle of micromotion. But instead of putting a paper cone on top of the voice coil and generate sound, we put a optical array, a, a call a transceiver array on top of this uh, uh, voice coil. So the voice coil would actually drive the optics uh, moving slightly. And that actually is a scanning mechanism uh, for us to provide a LiDAR imaging. And the scanning mechanism is uh, again, based on a very old technique, 
but uh, coupled with a fairly new um, uh, optical array construction, it does just like your loudspeaker. It doesn't have any friction, and uh, it actually lasts for a very, very long time. Just like the loudspeaker in your car, it will outlast the car, and it doesn't have any mirrors inside. Extremely efficient, and after all, very, very low cost. So that actually came up as a very good combination to strike the balance between performance, cost, and reliability. Uh, so in a nutshell, uh, just think about the MMT. It's like a, a loudspeaker construction for LiDAR. I really like that analogy, June. And, and I like the analogy you used earlier for autonomous vehicles and self-driving vehicles about the human senses, the eyes, the nose, the ears. And I think that puts it in terms that everyday car buyers can really understand. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, uh, that's how I view uh, the cars of the future is we'll have all these uh, suite of environmental sensors uh, uh, that elevate it into a higher level of safety as well as autonomy. So we have spent, June, uh, uh, most of the time on this interview talking about automotive. Let's go outside of the automotive industry because there is more that Septon Technologies does. You have other smart mobility solutions in other industries. So let's, let's talk about those. Where else can you find Septon Technologies, not just in automotive, but what are the other industries you're involved in? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, in all of the non-auto applications, such as smart cities, smart spaces, uh, uh, you actually see our footprint. Uh, I'll just raise an example for you. In the uh, Orlando International Airport, we had this one uh, uh, international terminal that proliferated uh, with uh, uh, seven of our LIDARs uh, forming the entire space into a smart space. And that tracks people's motion, uh, and that uh, gives the operator uh, the data to optimize the space utilization. And actually uh, with the flip of a software switch, uh, uh, you can actually monitor the social distancing between people in this days and age. Uh, it's actually quite useful. So that's a very much of a, a practical and an immediate application for LiDAR. It has the capability to accurately track people's position and provide the operators uh, with, uh, with uh, quality data. That's exciting, June. I, I had no idea that you had technology in the Orlando airport. I've, I've been to the Orlando airport, but it's, it's, it's been several years. So next time I'll have to go and keep an eye out for your technology. Yes. So June, uh, how can people get in contact with Septon Technologies if they would like to learn more about your automotive applications or just your other smart mobility products? How can, how can our viewers get in touch with Septon Technologies? Well, first of all, I'm old fashioned. So, so we are in Silicon Valley. Uh, you can always uh, uh, find us uh, in San Jose and drop by. Uh, but after all, it's uh, in this day and age, uh, please visit our website. Our, all of our contacts are there and uh, get in touch with us. And then June, is there anything else that you would like to add bef before we wrap up? Is there anything that I've missed? I know we've covered a lot. Is there anything you'd like to just overview, just give us an overview of one more time? Anything, any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, thanks for this opportunity again. Uh, again, uh, for us, uh, Septon Technology is a LiDAR company, and uh, we are actually working on uh, getting LiDAR into consumer cars. Uh, so hopefully one day we'll uh, have a LiDAR in everybody's car, uh, perhaps without you even noticing where it is, but give you an additional level of safety and you're going to drive at ease. So that's, uh, I guess, uh, what I get to say. June, I will look forward to going to the dealership one day and hopefully purchasing a car one day, hopefully sooner than later, purchasing a car with uh, with one of your LIDARs on it. June, I want to thank you for your time today from all of us here at AutoSense. We want to wish you the best of luck going forward. Thank you so much, Carl. I appreciate this opportunity. We have been speaking with Dr. June Pei, the CEO and co-founder of Septon Technologies. For more great AutoSense content, visit our website or see our YouTube channel. Just search AutoSense.